Hi and good morning. Happy Sunday. So I'm back with my final video. I know it brings a lot of um, heartache and tears to our souls. Um, I'm here with the final video to let you know what the final reason for you to come down to the exhibition next week. If the previous six have not convinced you thus far, hopefully this final one would be the, the, the major turning point for your decision making. So I'm just going to recap uh, the previous six reasons I mentioned uh, throughout the week for you to kind of be on board with exactly the reasons that have already come prior to this final one. So the first one was for those who love poetry, photography and immersive art, combining the three together. Uh, this is uh, one of very few or if any other exhibitions out there that actually um, happen to combine all these three forms of art together in one space where you could actually just be involved in all three and have a fantastic experience. Secondly, um, another reason I mentioned earlier was uh, the fact that this exhibition really celebrates and uh, aims to kind of challenge the ideology and various uh, social concepts that we as uh, the Western uh, human tribe kind of already think is what is the norm. So things like gender socialization, things like the um, idea and the, the concept of, of what wealth versus happiness and richness is and things like that and then especially in, to commemorate the International Women's Day um, last week uh, we talked about how that kind of merges into the celebrating the various forms of diverse ranges of women across the spectrum of, of uh, the African globe and, and the world um, as a whole. Also, we mentioned the uh, freebies. I mean, everybody loves a freebie, so I highlighted some of the amazing things which you could win um, throughout the week. So things like the postcards, flyers, the book, the tote bags, and um, lots of other uh, amazing um, surprises, which, which obviously you would be privy to when you attend next week. Also, another reason which I mentioned was... Um, champion in the uh, African diaspora, not only during the... Uh, uh, Black History Month, um, it's something that there are not many spaces that really kind of create a forum for that kind of conversation to really happen throughout the year and it's something that I aim to kind of shatter such uh, perspectives that African and black history should only be reserved for a particular time of the year and every, th every time else in between we kind of uh, keep a, a shut eye to things like that. So this is another space that creates that forum for everyone. Also, I mentioned about the workshops which happen throughout the week. So we have poetry workshop, we have the yoga workshop, we have the um, creative writing. We also have a debate and discussion evening throughout the week, which obviously kind of creates a space for everyone to be able to come in and do all these various things, which prior to this might not have had the space to do that, um, surrounding lots of uh, interesting images and art around them as well. So I believe those are the main reasons I mentioned all through the week. And today's reason is, firstly, um, I think the bigger picture is the fact that attending this exhibition would be participating and being part of the realization of a big dream. Because, I mean, many of us have so many dreams and unfortunately the way the structures of the society is it kind of somewhat starts to allow us uh, to lose those dreams as we get older and um you being part of this exhibition um, and coming down to experience and witness it, little do you know that you're part of the realization of the inception of a dream to bringing it to reality. And that's such a powerful thing, not necessarily because it's my dream, but because hopefully that inspires other people to realize that, you know, dreams can and should be realized. It just takes a little bit of, of um, belief in yourself and ultimately people like yourselves who actually then are part of realiza realization of such a dream. Um, and also, another reason, because I'm going to give you two reasons for today, why not, um, is the fact that this exhibition um, kind of brings about a forum to make 
art accessible to lots of demographics which potentially do not kind of connect to art in the same way as art is being connected to um, in other demographics and areas in London and in the United Kingdom. So uh, doing an exhibition in Bethnal Green and trying to incorporate schools and students to come down and be involved is something that is uh, something I'm really proud of and trying to kind of help shift the perception of what art is in the demographic where you you know, art is not something that's um, kind of heralded with the same kind of importance in those areas. So it's trying to redefine what art is and, and enable it to be accessible for other young people and people in general who perhaps do not have the same affiliation with art. So thank you very much for um, bearing the seven reasons and, and uh, numerous uh, minutes of your time throughout the week to watch my mug on your screen. So thank you very much for that and hopefully see most of you guys next week. Thank you and have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.